Hey guys, welcome to the next transformation video. Since the last video, things have been going really well. Uh, I've had to travel quite a bit actually uh, and be on the road, so I've tried to pack up all my meals, have them with me, bring a rice cooker on the road, and um, that's always a challenge, uh, not gonna lie. You know, traveling in general is tough, but um, you know, packing all my food in a cooler, having all that accessible is what I have to do right now. So I feel like I've done a pretty good job staying on track. Um, certainly haven't been 100% perfect, but uh, I've hit it pretty close, and uh, with all the traveling, I feel like that is definitely a win. I just finished kind of prepping up another meal here. This is actually ground bison, and what I did to change it up uh, for this was actually just threw in some eggs. So I threw in eggs and kind of scrambled it all up together. I really like eggs and having uh, them in my diet. So this is a, a way to kind of um, have some variety without really uh, getting too crazy. So um, this may look a little bit different, but once, uh, once you throw it in a bowl here, I'll show you what I do. I'll weigh it a little bit. A little bit heavier uh, just because the eggs are in there to make sure that I'm getting enough uh, meat in the um, in the meal so I actually bump this up just a touch so we'll go go 12 ounces um, with this so we got that 12 ounces so normally normally I've been doing um, somewhere between 8 and 10 ounces of meat every meal this one because of the eggs I'm, I'm just um, kind of guesstimating uh, that we're gonna go 12. So I, I kind of feel it out with each meal. Um, if I'm a little bit hungry, I'll, I'll give myself a little bit more food. So I'm trying to listen to my body in that way and I feel like it's been going pretty well. So with this, I'll go ahead and throw, uh, throw the rice on as well. And I think I said in the last video, I was weighing out the rice. And um, I feel like that's been keeping me on track uh, with the portion sizes. So right now I've got um, with the 12 ounces there. So five and uh, about four. So we got about nine, about nine ounces of uh, cooked rice. So that's about spot on. I'll pop it off here with just, um, just kind of a few baby carrots, which I actually really love. And they add a little bit of variety as well um, to the meal. So I just kind of do, do five or six of those, um, you know, don't actually weigh those out or anything, but um, just kind of kind of grab a few, throw those in, and um, and that's kind of a basic meal for me. I'll top this off with some chicken stock, and then uh, we're gonna throw that down, and then let it digest, and we'll be on our way to the gym. Guys, so just finished up the deadlift, frame carry, and then some seated arm over arm training. Obviously it's a seated row, but using that to train for a uh, arm over arm pull event with my next strongman contest. So I've had a lot of questions um, where people are saying, Brian, aren't you worried uh, with dropping weight that your maximal strength is gonna go down? And to answer that, I would say no. Uh, honestly, I feel like I've done a pretty good job uh, losing mainly body fat and not necessarily muscle. I'm not trying to drop muscle. I'm not trying to go crazy with this um, you know, weight loss, if you will. I'm just trying to get uh, more athletic, be a little bit faster, uh, and have that translate over. So thank you for all your concern, but uh, I'm not really worried about that. I think my maximal strength, at least from the training, seems to be holding really well. Now that all that work is done though, we're gonna jump into a little conditioning circuit. So uh, you can see right here, I've actually got a uh, new Rogue uh, plyo box and this is uh, very user friendly, not like a wood box where if you miss it and fall forward, you're gonna bust your shin up. Um, I'm hoping, I've never jumped on one of these before, but I'm hoping that it'll support my body weight um, because it does have a little bit of, of give to it. So 
We will find out. This will be a good test uh, for this rogue uh, plyo box. From there, so I'm gonna do 10 jumps there, uh, 10 kettlebell swings of the 100 pound, 106 pound kettlebell, and then uh, 20 pulls on the rower. So, uh, you know, basically this is just conditioning, like I said, at the end of the training session. We're gonna knock this out and uh, get after it. That was really good. Uh, obviously, with the rower, you could take it easy or pull a little bit harder. I was trying to put a little bit more into those pulls, and uh, I think it's a good way to, you know, get that work capacity up. Feeling good with it, and uh, just got to keep rocking. Uh, everything seems to be falling in place, so just got to keep the train rolling forward now. Feeling great, uh, so really positive about everything. And, uh, very excited, it's good to put in a really hard training session. And um, you know, the, uh, the mental side of this, I gotta say, typically, I've gone so many years of trying to get bigger and bigger numbers on the scale. And uh, it's kind of a reverse psychology game that I'm having to play with myself with wanting the scale to go down. Because normally I want it to go up and so, you know, I've, I've kind of had to reprogram my brain a little bit with this uh, to make sure that um, it's a positive thing and I'm taking it that way. And it's definitely working. I'm feeling great. And, uh, you know, it, uh, it's a good feeling to have the plan put in place and have it working. So really excited about how things are going. But now it's time to get out of here and go eat some food because I am spent. So we have come to the moment of truth, which is the weigh-in. I had a really good training session, uh, as you guys saw yesterday, that was awesome. I feel like the training is definitely staying on track, uh, and I'm excited about how that's going. But, because this is a transformation, I need to track myself. We've gotta hop on the scale and see where I'm at. Uh, so, let's go ahead and do that here. All right, so 417.2. I think the last one, I don't remember exactly, but I think I was about 421 or 422. And this is uh, a week after that. So I'm down, uh, gosh, almost, uh, what would that be? About five pounds, four to five pounds. So I feel like, I feel like that's pretty good. I feel like, um, you know, I'm, I'm uh, you know, doing well for, for what I'm trying to accomplish and I'm actually feeling lighter on my feet, I'm feeling faster, uh, and I feel like it's showing up in my training and um, overall performance, which at the end of this, that is still what the goal is. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that uh, I'm ready for the contest, I'm ready to perform, and um, you know, especially on the, on the events where I need to be faster, I'm going to be faster. So. You know, it's translating uh, in the training, it's translating with the diet, and of course, you know, at the end of the day, the scale doesn't mean everything, but, you know, as far as tracking the progress, it's giving me something to go off of with the physical number. So, I feel good, um, you know, the, uh, as I was kind of saying earlier, uh, or, or with the training, you know, the, the numbers on the scale, it's, it's very weird weighing in uh, and, and, almost hoping that the numbers go down. It's almost that reverse psychology that I've had to deal with uh, going through this, but 
I know that it's gonna make me better. I know that it's gonna uh, increase my performance and um, you know, it's, it's something that's very different, but I feel good about it because I'm setting goals and, and I'm making them happen. And obviously the numbers are translating on the scale. So the, at this point, that's all I can ask for. Um, it's been it's been fun. It's been a way different challenge for me, way kind of out of my comfort zone, but um, I'm excited you know, to see how this translates, of course, um, at the end of the day to my next contest. And uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's gonna end up uh, helping me a lot. So uh, I'm excited, pumped up. Uh, you know, you guys have been along for the ride. I really appreciate all the support that you've given me through this process. I mean, it's, uh, it's awesome to see the messages and the comments and uh, everybody getting pumped up and being fired up. And um, you know, I hope that in a lot of ways, me going through this can motivate all of you to, uh, you know, set some goals for yourself and to push yourselves to uh, get to where you want to go. So um, anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the video. For now, go out and be great, and we will check you guys later.